What's happening guys? John and Jeff here with Best Price Nutrition. Check out our website at bestpricenutrition.com. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, follow us on Instagram, TikTok. Uh, we do a lot of giveaways here, a lot of special deals and sales you'll only find out about here on the social channels. Uh, and you find out about uh, new products we're bringing in and interesting studies like we're gonna be talking about today. Yeah, great studies that everybody wants to hear about. <laughs> So we just got in this all new vitamin D3. This is 50,000 IUs. So if you guys take vitamin D or know about vitamin D, it's typically what, 1,000, 2,000, 5,000? 5, yep. uh, so this is a whopping amount. Why, why do you think somebody would want to take 50,000 IUs of vitamin D, Jeff? Well, I think it is to make their penis larger. Yeah. <laughs> what if I told you that you could gain a half inch in girth and a half inch in length by taking a whopping dose of vitamin D? Uh, we just I would say I don't believe you. <laughs> So we found this study online, uh, kind of a, an interesting study, maybe a little bit suspect. Uh, they only used 14 people in the study. And when I was reading the actual study, one of the things was the guy who was running the study, you either had to let him measure you or send him a picture every week. Yes. Seems like maybe some guy hanging out at the mall, approaching uh, young guys, enlisting them in this strange study. And but, this wasn't you that conducted <laughs> the study, all right. <laughs> But, uh, but yeah, the study did, uh, they found that guys had an increase in energy, increase in libido, and they gained 0.46 inches in circumference or girth, as well as 0.53 inches in length. Uh, they called this both st significantly significant and compared it to, uh, to somebody using either a vacuum pump or even uh, surgical augmentation. So what they actually did in the study is take 50,000 IUs of vitamin D every day, along with 100 MCGs of vitamin K2. Now, I think if this actually is, you know, obviously it's a very small study, but if this were to actually hold true, it's actually the vitamin D that's doing this. The reason for the vitamin K, if you take vitamin D in large doses, you'll have a buildup of calcium in the, in the blood, blood, right? Yes, and the K2 helps remove that excess calcium from the blood, which is important and it's only usually needed when you're taking high doses of vitamin D. So yeah, so it seems as though the, uh, the, results, the results these guys supposedly had came from the vitamin D, it's just when you're taking this much vitamin D, you gotta take the K2 as well. Obviously vitamin D is good for bone health, uh, good for the immune system, a whole lot of benefits, but uh, we found this kind of fun and interesting study uh, that, uh, that talked about penis length. The study also kind of talks about how only 50% 50, 50 of guys are happy with their size. So uh, at least half of you guys watching this video might be interested in uh, picking yep. this one up. Yeah, it could be a pretty, you know, substantial size increase for some people out there. So. And uh, both these are pretty cheap supplements. Yeah, they're both cheap. And, okay, so even if you don't want to increase your penis length and you want a 50,000 IU vitamin D, um, you just probably, I mean, I take 5,000 a day. I mean, that one was it once a week, it's saying? Yes, I mean, you know, that's what's kind of nice. Like, I, I was doing 10,000 a day for a long time. I thought that might be a little bit much, but one of the nice things about the higher IU vitamin Ds is you don't gotta take them every day. So I think with my 10,000, they recommend taking it about every three days. With this, you can take it once a week. So yeah. It is fat soluble, so that's why you know it can remain. Uh, you can take it once and it will last quite a, quite a bit of time. Yeah, and I do recommend taking it with a high fat meal uh, for that reason. Um, but you know, if you're somebody who takes a lot of supplements, you got a whole shelf full, uh, you know, if you take this one, you know, even if you're yep. just taking it as a normal vitamin D supplement once per week and you don't got to worry about taking another pill every single day. Exactly. But if you're going to try the, uh, the old penis girth um, study here, then um, again, you take one of those. How long was the study for? Do you know? Did it say the length ran. of the study? Let's see here. Yes. Can dig that out. Just to give them an idea, you know. You know what they measured at three months and six months uh, without totally diving into it. There were, there were pretty substantial results at three months, but six months is where they had the, okay. uh, you know, the pretty substantial difference. And we'll link to this study down below too. They have charts of all the partip part ugh, participants, yeah. their growth, et cetera. So we'll link to the study. We'll also link to... Uh, You're gonna make like a little combo stack for this, right? As yeah, well. yeah, I think I actually put together a stack the other day, but it was with the 10. So now that we got the 50, We'll build a stack with uh, the vitamin D3 50,000 I use. And again, if, if you're going to try this, get the vitamin K2. You know, this is going to help again with that, the uh, absorption on the removal of the excess calcium. So definitely take these two together. Yeah, I think, I think that's that, about it. I huh? think that's it. And if you do it, come on. 
you know, email us, <laughs> list your results down below. We'd love to see it. We don't want any pictures. No pictures. No, nope. <laughs> no pictures. Um, just results. And um, yeah, I think that's it, huh? Yeah, that's pretty much it. We'll link to everything down below and we'll catch you guys on the next video. All right, thank you.